Hello everyone, in this video we will create an exercise about while loops. While loops, you will not need to use them often, but they are uh, important. So if you understand while loop, it will be easier for you to understand for loops later. And here, maybe we can first create a simple array. And our target is that we will add elements inside this array by using while loop. And also, let's also create our getter function so that after we do, after we finish our contract, we will be able to see our array by calling this function. So now, actually, we can create a function that we can use while loop to push elements inside this array. So let's say function add array and here external and here to use while loop, we need to start with the while keyword and this parenthesis it will receive our condition. And here it will be our implementation area. And as you can see, I mean, for a condition to happen, we need two things. I mean, like we need two sides of the condition. With every condition, we need two things: a starting point, a starting point, and an end point, or two things to compare. And the first thing, maybe we can create it right away here. We can say you end. By the way, this condition it can be anything. It's up to your imagination. But here I will be using two numbers to to build a condition here. So I will say you int uh, internal start and you int internal end end number or maybe I can say also here start number. So as long as, and maybe you can also add some values here. So I don't need to say zero, by default it's zero, but it will be more descriptive and easier for you to understand if I say zero. So my starting number is zero, my end number is six, and here is just, as I said, these two things, I will use them in my condition because each condition, they need two things to compare. So I will say as long as my start number is smaller than my end number, then do whatever I place inside here. And as you can see, or as you know, or as you might know, while loops, they are uh, looping over this, this implementation as long as this condition is true. It will not stop one time. That's the thing about loops. I mean, their, their implementation will not stop. Their implementation will loop over and over and over and over until our condition is not true until until our condition is false. But until that false, it will it will uh, iterate over and over and over again. So here, this implementation, of course, I say that we will add elements to this array. So I just need to grab the name and then say push. And what I what can I push? Maybe I can push this start number inside the array. So if I leave it like that it will throw an error because this loop is not going to finish every time I mean when we call this function it will check this condition the condition is that 0 is smaller than 6 so it will loop one time and then it will loop back again, back to the beginning by itself and again 0 is smaller than 6 and again 0 is smaller than 6 so it, it means that I will have an array which goes to eternity it will be something like that and it will go eternity, you know, like it will not stop. And this is, of course, will throw an error at the end. And to make to make our iteration to stop at some point, I will say start number plus plus. And when you say start number plus plus, this is also equal to start number is equal to start number plus one. These two things they are the same. If you don't know but uh, this first one is more concise it's shorter that's why everybody is using it so by saying start number plus plus I am actually updating this value at the end of each iteration so at one point this start number it will also become six and at that point this condition will return false and at that point this implementation will not be executed again and our while loop will stop will stop and that's how you can use a while loop and this uh, condition here it's totally up to your imagination you can put anything else 
but we used this condition and now I guess everything is fine so now if I go to deploy it's already compiled and first if I get the array you will see it's empty by now if I add array and if I get the array you see it became something like that and you know uh, create this contract by yourself and later play with these numbers okay so that you will understand it better and also play with this area so that you can understand it better for example instead of saying my array dot push start num you can say start num plus one you will see that it will become weirder than this okay and see you next time bye bye